Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. With all the rain we've been getting, maybe the Tin Caps offense was simply just waterlogged. Since the All-Star break, the Tin Caps had scored more than two runs in a game only once. That would change this afternoon, though, at Sunny Parkview Field. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. Look at that body. Johnny been working out. Final game of the three-game series against Bowling Green. Tin Cap starter Michael Kelly flexing his muscle. He gets the strikeout in the second. Goes seven innings. Gives up just one unearned run. Kelly and the fans also got some help from his D in the third. Nick Torres, and he's an all-star for his bat, but apparently can field it as well. That grab keeps it scoreless. And then the offense starts to heat up for the Tin Caps in the fourth. Already one zip. Edwin Moreno, that's actually off the bag. It's a single. It brings home Torres to zip caps. Later in the inning, Rudy Heron with a little elevate and celebrate. How good has this guy been since being called up? A three-run shot, his seventh of the summer. Caps get seven runs in the fourth inning alone. They win it 7-1 to one behind some solid pitching and a breakout game for that offense. It was really just mixing it up. Keeping the hitters guessing, fastball, change up everything, mixing zones, um, inside out, just keeping them off balance. Every outing gives me confidence when I do well, and every outing when I see the defense play like that, it even gives me even more confidence. You know, for us to get that momentum going, it's huge. You know, we haven't seen it in a couple games now, but we know we got it in us, and we just scrap a run here, run there when we, when we have to, and, you know, hopefully we get some games like this where we get some offensive production really moving. Tin Caps play their next two games at Dayton, but they're back home on the 4th of July when they host the Dragons, fireworks included.